Yo, what up? You see the cashmere scarf? I'm at this hotel in Cleveland, leaving Cleveland. Had a great week in the shows at the Improv in Cleveland. Heading back to New York early in the morning. Spring forward. It is spring forward. This is the arcade building. The arcade building, which is now a higher regency in Cleveland. Beautiful building. It seems like they should film like some like Natalie Portman, Bruce Willis movie here. Shout out to the great Bruce Willis. Anyway, I'm heading back to New York. Hopefully I haven't lost my voice, but if you're ever in Cleveland, you need to check out the arcade building. Yo, I'm tired, 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 tired. Who likes sleeping in hotels? I do not like sleeping in hotels. And I eat candy. <clears throat> Don't tell my wife, but I ate some candy last night and I regret it. And I'll tell you honestly, I had some candy. I was at, I bought candy, sat up. I bought some candy Friday night. And I fought, I fought the urge that did not eat the candy Friday night. And I was proud of myself, but I didn't throw it away. That's the problem. That is the problem. If the candy's there, you're gonna eat it inevitably. And it got me, it got me good on Saturday night. Anyway, check this place out. This is wild, right? And this is like some like Jason Bourne, Matt Damon type of cinematography here for me early in the morning. It's early in the morning. Anyway, the Hyatt Regency, the arcade building here in Cleveland is done. Look at this. If I could do every vlog like this, I'd win an award. You know, it's freezing out here in Cleveland. There's no one on the streets. There's no one on the streets of Cleveland. Not even my driver, I'm supposed to be picked up. What is this dude? Where is this? I'm trying not to curse. Yo, so I'm on this no cursing on social media because I've gotten blocked. I've gotten suspended so many times for cursing and I'm on like some kind of like, I'm not even shadow banned. I'm on like some kind of hit list. I don't know what kind of hit list I'm on. But I'm on like a no, nothing. You can't say anything if you're Michael Rappaport on social media. They get me for everything. Yeah, where the, I almost said it. Where's my driver, man? What are we doing out here? Oh no, stand by. It was late, I cursed. Luckily, this place is open. How you doing? This place looks cool. This looks real cool. Thank God you're open. I got myself some kind of exotic ice latte. These people made it for me, nice people. The uh, arcade, the arcade, um, building here in Cleveland has like the weirdo coffee shop. Every town that I go to, when I'm on tour, every town I go to has like the cool weirdo coffee shop. And lo and behold, the arcade building at the Hyatt Regency has the weirdo coffee shop. And I like weirdos. I do. But they're, you know, Young weirdos, like the 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 weirdos, and look, I say that you know, like I got two young sons. I'm not confirming or denying they not they they might not be weirdos, but I'm just saying you know what I'm saying. Cool though, sweet, very sweet. I got my exotic ice drink. I don't drink warm coffee, by the way. I don't care how warm it is, how cold it is outside. So I drink is cold coffee. I don't think I've ever had a glass, a cup of hot gel in my life. They don't have, you know how weird this place is? They don't have straws. 
You know you're at a weirdo coffee place if they don't have straws. That's a fact. My man. How you doing? Good, how are you, sir? Good. Thank you. We made it. Again, the cinematography in this vlog is ridiculous. I'm just doing a little vlog. No problem. I'm new to the vlog world. <laughs> so am I. Trying myself here. Let me turn that down for no, no, you keep it on a little bit. What's that, that boss gags? Yeah, Yacht Rock. Yeah, I like that Yacht Rock. <laughs> Were you uh, um, busy this morning? I uh, had two trips early, yes. You had two trips already to the airport? Started at 4.30. 4.30 in the morning? Yes, sir. <laughs> man, oh man. We don't have a hub, so. Is that common, 4.30, like yeah. on the weekend? Man, oh man, oh man. We don't have a hub, so it's, they gotta connect that, make that connection somewhere. So it's usually Chicago, right. Detroit, Pittsburgh. It's not uncommon for us to drive to, Chicago, to uh, Detroit. How far away is Detroit from Cleveland? Two, two hours, 15 minutes. How far away is Akron, the home of LeBron James? <laughs> 45 minutes. 45 Less minutes, and you could be at the home of LeBron James. I just did a pickup last week at the home of his first home when he got graduated high school. Does he still Does he still own it? No, 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 it wasn't it. Was it a nice home, his first home? Yeah, it was real nice. A, uh, a, a doctor lives there now. Wow. That doctor's like, I'm living in LeBron James's <laughs> first crib. <laughs> he mentioned it, yeah. Of course he Still did. Still had the St. Mary, uh, St. Vincent St. Mary basketball hoop up in the driveway. Oh, that's cool. Well, that'll be worth money someday. It will. And it's, 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 uh, him and his wife's name etched in the cement. In they the were married that long? Yeah. LeBron is a family guy, huh? Good for him. That's right. You're right. We thought Tiger Woods was a family guy, but you'd never, ever, ever know. Tiger Woods is not only not a family guy, he's a savage. He got himself in another situation. You see that new situation no, he got don't. himself into? So allegedly, oh, I said- Is this when he asked his girlfriend to go on vacation, a short vacation? He asked his girlfriend to go on vacation. So she went on vacation, he didn't go so he could lock her ass out. This is not America's sweetheart. This is this is a dirty, no good, good for nothing, grimy. Now he's in a lawsuit and all that stuff, but I like it. I've been saying for years, Tiger Woods needs to just be the low down, grimy, double, double life, cheating, conniving person he is. Oh wow, look at that. What is that? It's the park. That's crazy. Anyway, Tiger Woods needs to just embrace his, his freak. My man. Uh, thank you very much. My car old school. But if you need anything, like I said. Appreciate everything. Nice Have a good day, man. You too. I'll see you later. All right. Bye -bye. You want any snacks for the plane? No, I'm good. Sure. I'm, good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I had enough Snickers, Kit Kats. <laughs> I tried to I tried to not get the Snickers and the Kit Kats and then I didn't eat them and then I ate them. I have that. So we lost an hour, right? We lost an hour. We're spring forward. Spring All right. Forward. Yes, sir. All right, cool. Have yeah. a good week, my man. All right, let me tell you something. And some people say, my crap, well, you know, you could afford ba 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 ba. Do yourself a favor. You could afford it. If you're flying and you fly frequently, do yourself a favor. And not only TSA pre, TSA pre, clear, clear. I would be a spokesperson for free, for well not for free, clear is a game changing situation. And not only is it a game changing, game changing situation, the clear people are always nice. The people that work at clear are always nice and pleasant. No lines. And I'm telling you, TSA clear people, if you could get that kind of customer service at 99.9% .9 of the places in the world, the world would be a better place. Watch this, clear, the people are always nice. Clear, how you doing? Good, how are you? I was just saying, the people that work for clear, always nice. Gary. Always nice. The people at Clear I always that nice. Mr. Gary Who am I? Mr. Gary Owens. <laughs> yes, we gotta love him. Gary Owens. Yes. Good to see you. <laughs> but I was just—you know—it's funny. So that woman mistook me. 
my clear, my friendly, clear person mistook me for comedian Gary Owens, who I've met. Cool, I'm a fan of, he's funny. Very, very, very funny. And she was talking to me like I was straight up Gary Owens for real. Which is funny because I get that every now and then. The only people that I get mistaken for are Gary Owens, but even more than Gary Owens, I get mistaken for Woody Harrelson once a week. And it ain't just Woody Harrelson, it's specifically white men can't jump. People will come up to me on the street and be like, white men can't jump, white men can't jump. And they never correct people because I don't want to embarrass them. The and also like, it's Woody Harrelson. You think I'm Woody Harrelson? Cool. They go home saying, yo, guess who I just saw today? I just saw Woody Harrelson. Why take that away from somebody? You think you saw Woody Harrelson? You think you got, you think you got a selfie with Woody Harrelson? Cool. I'm at the airport on time. I don't play around with airports. I don't play around with time in general. You know what I cannot stand? People that are late. I don't like being late. I never like being late. And I'll be honest, it's not something my parents instilled in me. Not that they, they didn't instill in me. They, not that they did not instill it in me. Can you tell I'm tired? I can't say instill. But lateness, I'm not down with lateness. How you doing? Good to see you. Vlogging. I'm new to the vlog game. Anyway, lateness. I, I don't. How you doing? Good hey, to see you, my man. My man said I'm a nice guy. He don't know me. I am a nice guy in general. But lateness. Not with the lateness. I don't respect people that are late. It's disrespectful. And if I'm having a meeting with somebody, I don't care if it's business, personal, you're 15 minutes late, bye-bye. What up, what up? What's going on? How you feeling, my man? I'm feeling great, I'm feeling great. Can yep. I get a nice pic with you, Yeah, 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 let's Are get you live? Yeah, we live. No, I'm just recording. Okay. I'm vlogging, I'm a vlogger. <laughs> you that guy. My man. Yes, sir. Appreciate it, take my it man. easy. Appreciate you. Safe flight. Anyway, lateness, I'm not with it. I'm not down with it. I don't tolerate it, nor should you. 15 minutes, bye, 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 bye. See you later. And that's if I like you. I used to sit around and wait for people. I remember a friend of mine, not even gonna say his name. Over an hour late and I waited for his dumb ass. And then I re I resented him, resented the friendship, and then I realized I'm the I'm it's my fault for putting myself through that. So now, late, bye bye. I don't show up late if I'm five minutes late. I let people know if I'm gonna be five minutes late. I let you know. Don't even be late. There's too many ways to get in touch with people to let them know you're not gonna be late to not be late. Text them, call them, FaceTime them. Can't stand lateness. Can't stand lateness. And I can't stand late flights, delayed flights, and long lines. And I do my best to try to avoid them by what? By being early. All right, so I'm trying to find a Starbucks. I know I had my fancy coffee. And it was good. Fancy coffee served by the uh, the weirdos in town. I say that with all due respect. But now we need to go with Old Faithful. Buckaroonies. We need that buckaroonies. All right, so unfortunately, this Starbucks ain't going to happen. You know why I ain't going to go to this Starbucks? Because if I go to that Starbucks... I'm gonna wind up being late for my flight. I don't know if they're understaffed. Maybe I got uh, banged up on the daylight savings spring forward. Disappointed. Hello, I'm Mayor Justin Bid. Yeah, Mayor Welcome Justin Bid, won't you? 
open up another Starbucks at the airport here in Cleveland. I found a, I found a spot here because Starbucks was going slow at the airport. Best coffee here in the city. What up, what up? How you doing, man? Best coffee in the city, huh? Best coffee in the city. All right. Muffins, too. Muffins, fresh. Fresh. Fresh muffins here at the Cleveland Airport. Bucks. Cafe Cleveland. The Cleveland Airport. Terminal B. Cafe Cleveland. Anyway, now that I've uh, started my vlogging career, my career as a vlogger, I feel like there should always be a moral, a point to the vlog. And I didn't think that the vlog point of today would be always be on time. But being that it's spring forward, bring, being that daylight savings has started, which I love daylight savings. Now it doesn't get so dark so early, which means spring is on the way, which means summer is on the way, uh, which means you know, we're moving forward, which means my birthday's on, on the way. That's not a hint. I don't want any birthday gifts. But I am pumped that spring is uh, almost here. Um, and I am pumped uh, about my vlogging career, my career as a vlogger. Uh, but before I sign off, before I get on this flight, the moral to today's vlog, video log, is that what vlog stands for? Vlog? video log video log i don't know it doesn't matter the point is is that do not be late don't be late show up early okay you don't even have to uh, uh uh you know worry about being late if you show up early so if you got to be somewhere at 7 15 show up at 7 705 that way you don't have to stress and if you're one of these people that doesn't stress about being late there's something wrong with you because if you're late, you're being rude, you're not being thoughtful. And that's coming from a person whose persona, you might not think I'm thoughtful, but I am very thoughtful when it comes to lateness, mine and yours. That's a great closing line for today's vlog.